I'm Mary Skydema for Blick Art Materials. Most everyone is familiar with the paintings of Pablo Picasso, but did you know he was also a sculptor? In this project, we're going to combine the simplified style of Picasso's early Cubist period with soft sculpture. We'll begin by drawing the front and back of a sculpture with black marker on two 9 by 12 inch pieces of paper. The outer contour of the front and back should be the same. Next, trace each drawing onto a 9 by 12 piece of scratch foam with black marker. You'll also trace the images lightly with a pencil onto muslin. Next, take the foam sheet and cut out the front and back of the sculpture. Now, we'll cut smaller pieces from the foam that will be printed all at once. For instance, the girl's hat. These pieces will act as printing plates I'm going to incise some patterning on the reverse side of this foam. This foam is very soft and easy to work with. Next, I'll paint the surface with acrylic. You need to add just a little bit of water so that your paint isn't too thick. I'm just going to cover this. All your brush strokes will show up in this printing process. Add a little color for highlights. Then I'm just going to flip this over, foam down, and print it right onto the muslin. We'll eventually be cutting the original piece of foam apart into several puzzle pieces. I suggest that you cut a piece and then print with it so you know where each one goes and how they line up. Apply pressure with a barren or wadded up piece of paper towel and then just lift off the print foam. The next puzzle piece will fit right next to it. So this is a section of the hair that's going to go right under the hat there. Just acrylic. I'm going to add a little bit of a metallic watercolor to add a little interest. And I really like to turn my brush over and just kind of do some scratching through the paint for some more texture. Once again, we're just going to flip it over. Line it up. You've got your light pencil lines there. Once again, with paper towel or your baron, just apply some pressure. Continue until all of the front and back pieces are printed. At this point, you can add detail with markers or hand paint any areas that might need extra color. You may want to embroider, stitch certain areas, or add beading for detail. Now, we'll cut the front and back sides out of the muslin, leaving about a one inch border. Placing the right sides together, where you can sew a running stitch or apply glue to the edge just outside of the design. When the glue's dry, turn it right side out, and we're going to fill it with stuffing. We want to leave a little room at the bottom for our final step, which is the bean bag. To make a bean bag, take a square of muslin about twice the size of the bottom of your sculpture, pour a good amount of beans or rice in the center, and pull up the edges. Just tie it together with a little string. This will add weight and stability to your finished piece. All you need to do is stitch or glue the bean bag in place. Thank you for joining me. For options and ideas for this project and other projects, please go to dickblick.com backslash lesson plans.